This is the HST201 AC-DC Pulse TIG welder from H&S Auto Shot. This, this welder is capable of TIG and stick applications up to 200 amps and features a voltage adapter in the box to take it down to 115 volt. Being an AC-DC Pulse TIG welder, the user is capable, this machine is capable of welding aluminum, steel, stainless steel, and chrome molly. <clears throat> when we look at going and setting up our welder, we want to make sure that the TIG torch is always plugged into the negative position on the welder and our ground is going to be plugged into the positive position on the welder. We have our gas connection here as well and then we, we have a 12 pin port on the front of the machine. This, this 12 pin port is either going to be occupied by one of two things. If you want the heat to be controlled by the TIG torch itself, then you'll plug the 12 pin from the TIG torch into the receptacle. If you'd like the foot pedal that does come in, included in your purchase, if you want the foot pedal to control the heat, you'll put your foot pedal connection just like this and plug it in in its place. So this will just be kind of hanging free. So again, if plug, plug this in from the torch, the torch controls the heat. To unplug it and plug this, the foot pedal in, the foot pedal controls the heat. So as we kind of go through some orientation on this welder from left to right, um, we'll kind of get going here and show you the different modes. Uh, we have a, an adjustment knob that we can go up, down, left or right to our, for our customizations of our weld. Another important note for any TIG welding application, we want to make sure and use 100% argon gas for any TIG welding application, no matter the material, whether it's steel or aluminum. So we do have, we, as we get started from left to right, we have our basically our welding modes. We have rod or our stick welding application. If we come down uh, one more notch, we have high frequency start. High frequency start means I don't have to touch the metal or the tungsten to the metal to, to scratch it to start. If I get close enough and pull the trigger, it's going to jump that arc to the base metal itself. A very nice feature to have. And then we have, obviously, your, your common lift arc or your scratch dart. Well, you'll have to actually scratch the tongues into the metal to get the arc to ignite. So we're going to select our mode, our welding mode, first. As an example, we'll select high frequency start uh, on the left. And, and high frequency can be done in either DC mode or AC mode, by the way. We, and then the next, the next thing we're going to select is our wave or, or our, our mode. There are three different waveforms for alternating current, square, sine, and triangle waveforms for customization of our weld. And then finally, we have DC, which would be for steel welding, uh, notated down below on the last, the last button there blinking. So we're going to select our, our wave or our, our welding mode over here on the left, high frequency, rod, or lift arc. And then we're going to come over and select our wave, square, sine, triangle. These are all alternating current waveforms. And then the, the bottom form is DC for steel. And then we're going to come over one more notch and select our trigger settings. 2T trigger, very simple, on, off, whether that's the foot pedal or the TIG torch itself. We have a repeating trigger, and we have a 4T trigger, or we consider a latching trigger. So we would set our trigger mode in, on the, in this section. The next thing we're going to want to do is come over and start customizing our weld. The first light that lights up with the gas bottle is our pre-gas. And by adjusting this knob, we can go up to two seconds of delay or, or gas coming out before the weld is going to begin. And it's really one-tenth of a second up to two seconds. Okay, the next light that's blinking here is our upslope. And our upslope can be, uh, we can make that zero or we can go up to, all the way up to ten seconds. This is measured in seconds. And this is our upslope of our current. So whatever our, our peak amps are going to be, we can have a slow crawl up to those peak amps, or we can have it start, if it was at zero, it would start immediately at the, at the um, peak amps that we're working with. So we'll come over here, and this, this, is our, this is our working amp. So right now we can just adjust our amps accordingly to what, what our application is. We have pulse, so pulse, no, or yes. And if we go to yes, pulse is on. No pulse is off. Pulse is going to alternate the heat current. So especially when we're working with really thin metals, pulse is a really cool feature uh, to try out to work with working with those thinner metals. Now we have our down slope. So again, uh, we talked about the curve up. Now we can talk about the curve down and the delay in seconds as far as going from that from the our working amperage down to nothing. And then finally our post gas, and that can be. Uh, regulated from zero to 10 seconds of gas coming out after the weld is, is done. So based on our trigger settings and where, where we're telling the welder we want to try to do, 
some things were available to us and other things were not available to us. So if we were to go over here and say, we said pulse was on no, was no, so we didn't get anything to light up below that. If we go down and say pulse yes, we're gonna have some different options that are available to us. So we have our peak amps and then we also have our base amps. So now we're gonna tell the, tell the welder, okay, I'm working with 140 amps, but I wanna go down to 70 amps or whatever that might be. So I wanna cut that in half and we can change that by turning the knob left or right and telling the water what we want that pulse rate to be at. We also have uh, pulse width and pulse hertz. So these are also additional customizations to the pulse characteristics that we can do as well. And again, as we, kind of, we can kind of move left to right, uh, if we're in rod mode or, or uh, stick mode, as we kind of move over here, these are all gonna be blacked out. We're gonna kind of come right over here to the far right hand side, and that's gonna stand for uh, your starting current, your welding current, and your arc force. So these are those three customizations here. But again, very highly customized, customized welder. There are a lot of different modes available to the user. Uh, this is just some general orientation and setup. Uh, once again, this is the HST201 ACDC Pulse TIG order from HNS Auto Shot.